This week, find out how to make this multi-panel plot using only the Jimpack style declarative plotting interface in MetPy. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I want to show you how to use the Jimpack style declarative plotting interface in MetPy to create multi-panel plots. So we've talked about how to create a normal, like an image plot or a contour plot, even how to overlay a couple of different plots on one panel, but we haven't yet shown you how to do multiple panels. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and do imports, like we always do. So we're going to import X-Array as XR. Then from MetPy's C book, so we can get some test data, we're going to import get test data from MetPy plots. We're going to import the contour plot, the map panel, and the panel container. If you're not familiar with these, I would encourage you to go back and watch the last couple of MetPy Mondays for some more explanation. And then we'll need MetPy.units. Next, we'll go ahead and open our data set. We're going to work with the same NAR data set that we have been for the last couple of Mondays. So we're going to use X-Ray's open data set. Okay, so now we need to create the, uh, the contour plots that we're going to use. So I'm going to make four contour plots. I'm going to make one that's temperature contours at 850, one that's temperature contours at 500, one that's height contours at 850, and one that's height contours at 500. So we're going to walk through the first one, and then we'll speed it up as I type the rest of them. So temperature contours. 850. Remember using long descriptive names is best practice. This is a contour plot. And then temperature. Remember you can just hit tab to complete that. We'll set the data as our NAR data. For field, we want temperature. For level, we want 850 HPA. For line color, I want to select the Tableau Red. And I want 15 contours. All right, so now we're going to repeat that process for the 500 hectopascal temperatures and for 850 and 500 geopotential heights. So we'll speed that up. We go ahead and pause the video and try to code those on your own and then come back and see if what you did matches. Okay, so there are the three that I've added now. So go ahead and check your work against that. The only thing that was different with the height contours is we're using the field geopotential height. Remember, you can just type NAR and run a cell to see all the variables that are available in that X-Array data array. So now we need to go ahead and make some map panels. I've chosen to make mine a left and a right two panel plot. So that logical name would be left panel for my first one. 
it is a map panel. I'm going to set the area to be US. For layers, I'm going to put on coastline and states. We'll give it a title. And then we need to tell it what plots we want. So in this case, it's going to be temperature contours 850 and height contours 850. Remember, typing those is long. Use your tab completion like I did there and save yourself a lot of typos and time. Now the last thing that we're going to add on this is a layout. And I'm going to set that to be 1, 2, 1. The first number means I want one row of plots. The second number means I want two columns of plots. And the last number means this is the first plot. This is the matplotlib or matlab style. Uh, but if you haven't seen it before, that's the quick description. We also have a video on multi-panel plotting earlier in the MatPy Monday series. So go ahead and run that. Now that we've made a left panel, the next logical step would be to make the right panel. So I encourage you to go ahead and pause the video and try making the right panel on your own. So there's what my right panel code looks like. Notice I went ahead and typed it all out again, especially when you're learning something new. It's best to not copy and paste, just go ahead and type everything out. It also reduces copy-paste errors. You'll notice the only thing that's a lot different here, other than me using different variables, is that this is now one, two, two. One row, two columns, second plot. So the last thing we need is to make a panel container. This is sort of like the figure object. So we make the panel container. I'm going to set its size to be 15 by 5. And for its panels, it's going to have the left panel and the right panel. And then we call show. And there we go. Now we have our two contour plots on each panel, two panels in the panel container, multi-panel plot. I hope that you found this useful and that you're finding the declarative plotting interface fun to use. Go ahead and leave us some comments down below, or you can always send your support tickets into support-python at unidata.ucar.edu. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.